by seeing my videos. Okay students, today's topic is our food. What is today's topic? Yes, our food. What is meant by food children? Let me say a simple definition of food. The nutritious substance that animals or human beings eat or drink in order to maintain their growth and life. Even plants also absorb water in order to maintain their growth. Am I correct? It is called food. Once again repeat with me. The nutritious substance that animals or human beings eat or drink in order to maintain their life and growth is called food. Okay students tell me why do we need food? We need food to survive. We need food to survive. Do you know the meaning of survive? Have you heard before? Okay, let me say the meaning of survive. Survive means live or exist. Survive means live or exist. Let me give you one example. We are surviving on the earth. It means we are living on the earth. Now tell me what is the meaning of survive? Live or exist. Live or exist. It means we are living on the earth. It nothing but we are surviving on the earth. Okay children, tell me why do we eat food? We eat food to produce energy. We eat food to produce what? Energy, yes. Um, after eating food, we gain energy, right? For what we will use energy children? We use energy to do our works. To play, to write homeworks, uh, to do our works, right? Now, ha what happens if you skip your meal? What happens if you skip your meal? Have you skipped your meal before? How did you feel? Yes. If we skip our meal, we will be sick and weak, right? We can't stand properly also. Because there is no energy in our body. There is no glucose in our body. Without eating food, how we will produce glucose? Do you know what is glucose? Okay, let me say what is glucose. Glucose means it is a main sugar present in our blood. Glucose is, it is a main sugar present in our blood. It is a major source of energy. It is a major source of energy. By eating food, we produce glucose. From glucose, we are getting energy. Without energy, we will be sick and weak. So, it is very essential to take food daily. Do you know the meaning of essential? Essential is nothing but important. It is very important to take food daily. It means it is very essential to take food daily. Sources. Let me give what is the meaning of source. Glucose is a major source of energy. What is the meaning of source children? Source means the thing where we are getting from. For example, food is get, uh, coming from plants. It means plants are the sources of food. And glucose is a major source of energy, right? Means glucose is a source of energy. Means we are getting energy from glucose. Now, it is by this, if there is no glucose, there is no energy in our body. It means we can't do our work. We will be sick and weak. Without eating food, we will be sick and weak. So, it is very important to take food daily. It is very essential to take food daily. What is the meaning of essential? Important. It is nothing but important. It is very important to take food daily. Now, uh, uh, let me say a few food items. 
there are many food items right children okay if anyone asks you about what is your favorite food item what will you answer yes the list may include several items right if anyone asks you about what are the sources of food components of food and different methods of preparation of food what you will answer it might be some difficult to answer right so i am here to you explain you those three sources of food components of food different methods of preparation of food what children first one sources of food components of food different methods of preparation of food firstly i would like to explain about sources of food source means what yes very good exactly source means the thing from where we are getting yes where we are getting food from where we are getting food children yes we are getting food from plants and animals let me say a few examples few food items that we are getting from plants vegetables fruits leafy vegetables etc these all are food items that we are getting from plants how we will get food from plants children by cultivating crops through agriculture we are getting food from plants who will cultivate crops children can anyone say farmers cultivate crops farmers cultivate crops what are the food items that we are getting from plants fruits vegetables leafy vegetables pulses cereals the etc these are some of the food items that we are getting from plants now secondly i would like to say about few food items that we are getting from animals tell me few food items that we are getting from animals meat milk eggs butter these all dairy products we are getting from cow and goat right milk dairy products means the food item that we are getting from milk milk is the getting from buffalo cow and goat meat we are getting from hen cow goat repeat with me children few food items that we are getting from animals meat milk eggs meat milk eggs meat we are getting from hen cow goat milk we are getting from buffalo cow goat eggs we are getting from hen eggs we are getting from hen these all are few food items that we are getting from animals these all are the sources of food plants and animals are the sources of food secondly i would like to say about components of food what children components of food let me say what are the components of food components are the substances which are found in food the components are substances found in food that we are gaining after eating food there are five major components let me say those five first one carbohydrates second one fats third one proteins fourth and fifth vitamins and minerals once again children repeat with me first one carbohydrates second one fats third one proteins fourth fifth vitamins and minerals they are five main components in the food carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals our body needs all the components in right amount firstly i would like to explain about carbohydrates carbohydrates are certain substances present in food which gives us energy carbohydrates are 
certain substances present in food which gives us energy and they protect our body against diseases they protect our body against diseases let me give few sources of carbohydrates first one wheat rice corn bread potato sugar once again children repeat with me wheat rice corn bread potato sugar now i will show you few sources of components with their pictures carbohydrates carbohydrates give energy to our body wheat rice corn bread potato sugar are some sources of carbohydrates what is second component children yes exactly fats fats give more energy than carbohydrates now let me give few examples few sources of fat first one oil milk cheese butter dry fruits oil milk cheese butter dry fruits over excess i mean excess intake of fat fatty items leads to obesity now i'll show you few sources of components with their pictures fats fats give more energy than carbohydrates milk oil ghee butter cheese and dry fruits are some sources of fats excessive intake of fatty food can cause obesity what is third component children proteins yes exactly proteins helps in growth and also helps in repairing of damaged tissues and cells of body once again repeat with me proteins helps in growth and helps in repairing of damaged tissues and cells of body let me give few sources of proteins first one milk meat paneer egg what milk paneer meat pulses egg now i'll show you few sources of components with their pictures proteins proteins help in growth they also helps in repairing damaged tissues and cells of our body milk paneer pulses beans eggs and meat are some sources of proteins okay children tell me what is the fourth and fifth component yes very good vitamins and minerals vitamins and minerals helps to maintain the normal functioning of our body and it protects our body against diseases now let me give few examples few sources of vitamins and minerals first one fruits second one vegetables third one milk now i'll show you few sources of components with their pictures vitamins and minerals vitamins and minerals helps in the normal functioning of our body they helps in protecting our body against diseases fruits vegetables and milk are some sources of vitamins and minerals vitamin c helps to keep the gums healthy calcium makes our bones and teeth strong okay students today we learned about components right depending on today's topic i'll assign you one project work you need to list out the source of components sources of carbohydrates sources of proteins fats vitamins and minerals 
Let's meet in our next video. Until then, stay home, stay safe. Bye.